Hi there. Uh, my name is Rajat Sadana and I'm one of the co-founders of VGMAT. Today I'm going to talk about Ronix Journey. Now, if I were to describe Ronix Journey in, 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 in just um, you know one sentence, it would be a journey uh, where desire prevailed over a decade of experience. And, and, and I'll explain this more um, in a minute. But before I do that, um, if you want to know the nitty gritties of his journey, know how he overcame um, obstacles through his, his sheer desire to score that 740, I want to make sure you register for the uh, th for the webinar using the link above or using the Act to Calendar link in the description below. So let's kind of talk about the challenge that Ronak had. Ronak came to EGMAT, he had a starting score of 610, again the desire to go to 740, and, and, and he had his work cut out in both quant and verbal. In quant, he had to go from a Q45 to a Q50 in verbal, from a 50th percentile to a 91st percentile. So it was very clear that Ronak had to polish and refine his skills, fix, cert fix certain gaps in quant, and if he did that, he would get to a Q50 or a Q51, and that was there. On verbal, Ronak had to start from the very basics. He had to learn how to read a sentence the way GMAT intends you to. Then he had to learn all the concepts, learn how to apply the concepts, and then get so good at applying the concepts that he's amongst the top 10 percentile or top, top 5 percentile of test takers worldwide. Now, um, Ronak spent about 3 months and 20 days doing this. He made considerable improvement. He improved by about 70 points. But 10 days before the test, he was still um, about 50 points shy of his GMAT score. This is when Ronak and I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I looked at his mock test, I diagnosed his weakness, and, and my diagnosis was while Ronak knew the concepts in, in quant and verbal, he, did, he knew them really well in, in quant and SC. He had some behavioral issues in, in, in CR and RC and, and which caused him to make mistakes in CR and RC. He knew the concepts, he knew the application, he could do pre-thinking, um, but, but because of those behavioral issues, um, he wasn't able to get to a V40. He was actually stuck at a V34. Um, Based on my experience of over a decade of experience, I, I recommended that Ronak take the test in 25 days. But Ronak was determined. He said, and he challenged me to say that, hey, I'm going to improve to a V40 in about 10 days or so. So, what did we do? We defined metrics that Ronak had to, to hit. He took those metrics, he took that improvement plan, he worked on improving those behaviors. Now, normally people take upwards of 20 days to fix those behaviors, but Ronak within five days showed considerable progress. He hit the metrics that, that I asked him to hit or about 80% of those metrics in about five days. And in from day number six to day number 10, he consistently repeated those metrics. And on day number 11, he was able to get to a 740. If you want to understand what were these behaviors, if you want to understand how Ronak went about fixing those behaviors or how we diagnose those behaviors, join this webinar using the link above or in the description below. With that, as I always say, happy learning.